What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, it's Drakesy back again with a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is going to be another best possible squad builder on the channel and today's squad is going to be a Bosnia-Herzegovina squad. So the formation that I'm going to be using in today's squad is going to be a 4-1-2-1-2 secondary formation, meaning there are centre mids where the left mid and right mid should be in the team. But without any further ado, we're going to get straight into the squad. Just a quick mention, as of making this video, we are relatively near the beginning of FIFA, so there might be more informs as you're watching this or, you know, new cards out that I've not added to the team. This is because when I recorded this video, we're near the beginning of FIFA. As of recording this, the best possible squad. We will come back to these squads at the end of FIFA, so be sure to subscribe. And at the end of FIFA, we'll come and see how they have improved and how they look at the end of FIFA. So I hope that makes sense. Thank you very much for watching and let's get straight into the squad. So the first player into the team is the goalkeeper Asmir Begovic of no Bournemouth. I thought he was still at Chelsea, my mistake, he's actually now at Bournemouth. But as we can see, Begovic is an 82 rated rare goalkeeper card who is gold. Um, he's pretty good looking to be honest from his stats as well. He's not a bad card to be honest. Uh, one star skill moves, two star weak foot, 81 diving, 82 reflexes, 81 handling are his key stats. He's also got 79 positioning as well which isn't too bad. Overall a decent card but definitely not the best one in the, in the team I'd say. But still a decent card. Now we move up to the defending players in the team and as we can see we're going to start with the right back. This is the only silver in the team but for a silver he's a pretty good silver to be honest. He's 72 rated, a rare silver card as I did mention then and his name is Versajevic, I think is how you would say it. I'm not too sure on the name of the team but I'm pretty sure they are a Turkish team that he plays for. This guy's got 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot. 81 pace on his card, 70 passing and 70 defending as his key stats, highest stats, but he's also got some pretty good physical and dribbling on his card as well. Moving across from him to the first centre back into the team, that's going to be Zukanovic, and as we can see, he's a non rare gold 75 rated centre back playing for, I forget the name of that team, I think is it Parma? No. Uh, Genoa I think it is, I think it's actually Genoa, correct me if I am wrong, but this guy's also got 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, his pace is absolutely atrocious at 65, not the best pace at all, but he has got some pretty good defending and physical stats, both sitting at 76. Moving across to the second centre back into the team, and that's going to be this guy called Bikakic, I think is how you would say his name. He's a non-rare gold, 76 rated centre-back, playing for Hoffenheim, I believe, in the Bundesliga. Two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. And if we thought the last guy's pace wasn't the best, this guy's got even worse pace at 54. But he has got some pretty good defending and physical stats at 77 and 78. But still, probably not the best centre-back, definitely not the quickest, but still, if you are to build this team, just be careful of the pace in the back line. Now we move across to the left-back, and as we can see, that is this guy called Kolos Kolasinic, Kolasinic, I think so you say his name. He's the brand new Arsenal signing. I believe he came from Schalke. I could be incorrect in saying that he came from Schalke, but he looks like a fantastic card in FIFA this year. And in real life, he's not doing too bad as well. But as I mentioned, he's a left-back, 80-rated, rare gold for Arsenal in the Premier League. Two-star skill moves, two-star weak foot, 78 pace, which is pretty good for a left-back, um, a wing-back kind of player. But looking at some of his more defending stats, he's got 78 defending, but more to the point, 89 physical, which is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've ever seen that on a left-back card before. Correct me if I'm wrong, obviously there's been informs that have been very high rated, but on a base card like this, 89 physical is absolutely incredible. Moving up the pitch to the centre defensive mid who is also another Premier League player, this time playing for Everton as we can see it's Mohamed Besic 
of Everton. He's a non-rare gold this year. He's 76 rated. He's got two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. His pace isn't the best, but looking at the right-hand side stats, he's dribbling 74 and he's defending and physical both 76, making him a pretty solid centre-defensive mid. And once again, it's a bit of a shame his pace isn't the best, but he's still a solid card in FIFA this year. But if it is an all-round card that you're looking for this year in FIFA, this guy looks fantastic. It's actually Lilich, and as we can see, Lilich's card is a 78-rated, non-rare gold, playing for, uh, is it Lazio? I think it is Lazio in Serie A, or Calcio A, however you want to say it. Um, and as we can see, he's got three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, which off the bat is fantastic. But looking at his stats, he's not got a stat below 72, which is his shooting. But apart from that, he's got 77 on pace and passing. And then on dribbling, he's got 78, along with physical being 78 as well. He's just an all-round fantastic card to be getting into the team. And to be honest, you kind of need it with a backline as weak as it is. The next acquisition into the team is going to be an inform, one of the informs we've managed to get into the team because as I did mention we are near the beginning of FIFA but as we can see it's Miralan Pjanic of Juventus, he's got his 70, uh, not 70 sorry, 86 rated inform um, and 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot which are fantastic but he's also got 75 pace. 87 dribbling, 72 shooting which isn't the best but he's got 89 passing on his card which is incredible and 70 physical as well so all round once again a decent card, not really bad stats but some fantastic dribbling and passing on there. Up to the centre attacking mid of the team now we have Milicevic, I think is how you say this guy's name and he is a non-rare gold 75 rated centre attacking mid for this team playing for Ghent in the Belgium Pro League. 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 69 pace which kind of sounds bad but then again if it was 1 rating higher 70 it wouldn't look too bad on his card but still could be a bit better if I could ask something on this card. But looking at his other stats, 74 dribbling and shooting and then 78 on passing. So to be honest, his pace could be a bit higher and his physical could be a bit better. But apart from that, a solid card in at centre attacking mid. Now we move up to the penultimate player into the team and as we can see it's this guy Ibesevic. Ibesevic, I'm not too sure on his name and pronunciation but I'm going to say Ibesevic for now. As we can see he's a rare gold card in FIFA, he's an 80 rated, he's playing for Hertha Berlin in the Bundesliga, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, straight off the bat. 53 pace on a striker is going to be very hard to play with but looking at his strong suit his better stats obviously he's more of a physical presence striker um, and as we can see he's got 80 shooting 73 dribbling and 76 physical so as long as he stays up near the top of the pitch kind of teetering on the on the attacking side of things not tracking back he should be all right but like I said his pace just is kind of atrocious but yeah, the penultimate player is this guy, Ibesevic, I think is how you say it. And now we move on to the final player in the team. And that final player is going to be Edin Dzeko, yet another kind of striker that's pretty slow for his rating. But as we can see, Edin Dzeko is 84 rated, a rare gold striker, playing for Roma in the Calcio A, Serie A, whatever you want to call it. He's got two star skill moves, four star weak foot, 64 pace, so it is better than Ibesevic's, but still, it's kind of slow for a striker. 74 dribbling, 83 shooting, 70 passing, and then 72 physical. So once again, an all-round kind of stronger striker, if you're to pick it out at anything. But both have pretty good shooting, so maybe they're pretty good at long-range shots. But still, kind of a slow striking, attacking force. Kind of a slow team all-round, apart from your kind of centre mid. But still... If you can use it, if you build up passing play, it could be a pretty good team. But this so far, guys, is the best possible Bosnia-Herzegovina team in FIFA 18 so far. If you've enjoyed watching, thank you very much for watching. And like, subscribe, all you can do. I've been Drakes here, and once again, thanks for watching. See you in a bit, guys.